Hey guys, it's Steve the Lakeside Porch. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some spoon rings. Um, fun project, easy to make. So first, um, let's get a vise. And I'm using gaff tape, best tape in existence. Everybody should have a roll of it. It's expensive, but it's really tough and very sticky. So, stick it in there. Fold it over the jaws, and this will just keep... Um, your silver spoon from getting dinged up, hurt, and stuff while you're trying to form it in the vise. The edges will still be a little sharp, but it'll be better than um, nothing on the vise at all. I guess you could get all the dust off the vise so the tape sticks to the vise instead of the dust, but I really don't care. Okay, so that's what you got. Now what you need is some silver spoons, which I have a bunch of. I got uh, four of them here. And get your hacksaw. Now we got our hacksaw. I'm just going to clamp the spoon in the vise. Straighten it out. I'm just going to saw it off right there. Okay, break that off what you got. Save that. It's silver. You can use it for something. Alright, so now we're just going to file that end to get it nice and soft. Okay, so Filed off my piece, got that. I got a uh, mallet here, just a rawhide mallet. I'm going to start to form the ring on my mandrel. So, just kind of whack it down. This is one of the hardest parts, is getting it to follow those mandrel contours. And right now, this is going to be way too big, but it will be good because if I'm going to sell it, I'd much rather have it too big. So now i got a spot here where it will be flush with the mandrel. I'm going to clamp it in the vise and yank okay. it around. So I got it clamped in the vise. Just beating it around. Use your hands. Use your vise. Whatever. Okay, so it's clamped. This kind of this part kind of takes a whole bunch of hands. Now, once you get to this point here, it becomes kind of difficult because you need to get it in the jaws of the vise without it closing up too much. You you want it to kind of close up around the mandrel if possible. Just play with angles and try different stuff. Maybe push down with your ring mandrel a little bit. See, that's not going the way I need to. It's... Nope, nope, I'm getting it. Okay. That's good. So, just practice or screw around with it to get it right. Okay, got it clamped. Bend it around with my hand this time. Really, missile tools here. One thing you really do need is a mallet and a bullpen, and that's about it. If you can mount uh, you, it, bullpen is a, um, is a they use it for setting um, holes in the cement and stuff like that, lining up holes. It's just this long rod, long paper rod, it's pretty fat, and they use it for setting holes in cement, or setting beams in cement, okay, so what I did is I just hammered that around, and what you don't, what you want is you want to get that right in there, see, you want this piece to be over that piece so that way it can fold around and create a complete circle. Go around it with some sandpaper to clean up some of the nicks and dings you put in there. Or file. 
One last part I forgot to mention. Um, buffing your ring. You just... I have a buffer here just attached to my bench grinder. Um, this is just some metal buffing compound. Got from Ace Hardware. So, buff it out. Yeah, remember that. The buffer creates friction. More friction than sanding with sandpaper. Now we got a nice shine to it. But just remember that. You can grab some hot stuff on the buffer and you'll be like, oh shoot, I didn't know that was hot. That'd be hot, so there you go. Spoon ring. Thanks for watching.